For News OK, I'm Dave Morris here at the Cox Convention Center on this Friday night for Langston University's sixth annual President's Scholarship Gala, featuring Pam Greer, Dion Warwick, and Jennifer Holliday. Put the in fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Actress Pam Greer and singer Dionne Warwick were honored as they received honorary doctorate degrees for their professional excellence and involvement in education and humanitarian efforts. And before tonight's gala, the local media had a chance to talk with all three legendary ladies. Well, I'm returning. I've, I've been here uh, in uh, 2009, and uh, so I really think that uh, Langston is a great university. Last year I served as Grand Marshal in parade, so I actually got a chance to go up there to, uh, to the university, speak with some of the you know, students and participate in that way. So I'm, I'm very excited to be here again. And I'm excited to be here receiving a second honorary doctorate uh, for my community service. But I wanted to be able to thank also the, the uh, participants here, the generous donors and alumni who support this university, and also to thank them for being so supportive of my career of 40 years and for also supporting the film industry, which she can, Dion can sing soundtracks to and really make the film successful. So um, I'm here uh, in gratitude to thank everyone for my supporting of me. I'm thrilled to be here, I must say. Uh, it's been an exciting journey for me for these past 50 years. And during the course of time, I've received a few honorary degrees from different universities around the country and some and around the world. Del deservingly uh, so. It has been uh, a marvelous, marvelous uh, adventure. And it's thrilling to know that I'm still appreciated and that uh, I want everyone to know that how appreciative I am of them saying, okay, you deserve this. Everybody has a dream and it's yours to have. All you have to do is follow it. My grandfather told me at the age of six years old, if you can think it, you can do it. And that's my mantra. And I pass that on to my children who are passing it on to theirs. So I think that basically just says it all. Because if you can think it, you certainly can do it. I want to just piggyback on one thing about okay. this fabulous lady, Miss Dionne Ward, but she also is not seen. One thing that the young people, I try to tell them, now I didn't go to school and I didn't study uh, anything, and, but it is important to, to have some kind of training or learning, whatever. And she won't tell you this, but a long time ago we did a session with um, Quincy Jones for a Barbara Streisand album. It's called The Places We Find Love. Now, everybody had to be readers, sight readers. I thought I was good. I thought I had done. This woman taught us all and first of all chewed us out because we were supposed to be on G and we were not on whatever. They gave us the music right there. She was the only one who got through it fast. We were so embarrassed, but she, she was very kind and she says, okay, all of y'all, when y'all get this, then we'll do it again. And Quincy was happy. We were all happy, but she showed us that you need to be prepared and you need it's okay to have something under your bag and I, I'll never forget that because I went and, and got myself together okay <laughs> I was able to walk in anywhere for them to hand me music and read it and tell them what I wanted to do tell the orchestra you know what you're hearing and all of that kind of stuff and it's just so I just wanted to tell her that that you know it's important what she what she does her her level of excellence, they don't even have that anymore. We live in a mediocre society, period, because everyone does not expect higher, so we right. all stay here. Right. But back in the day, the right. real day, when I was privileged to, to have these people like she and Sammy Dave, all these people around us for us to teach us, you know, I, I just want to say that. That's all. And in teaching, as we have followed our dreams and journeys, we become mentors. Yes. Someone mentored us yes. and showed us an example of excellence. Mm -hmm. We didn't get here because we were average and mediocre. Right. Any mistake we might have thought, a wrong key, a mismove, something we well, no fixing it then. was we would <laughs> but the next night we were on point. Right. Because you expend your time coming to see us and hear us and we feel we should at least 
honor your presence with something that was given to us and taught. So we inspire others. I mentor, as we all do. There's some singer, dancer, actor, filmmaker, chair, some civic person who wants to like create shelters and help and serve. We are an example. We do so many things. Dion works with the shelter, and she's working with the Hunger Association, World the Hunger, Project. the Hunger Project. We all do so much more than just our art, because we have given, been given so much. So with that, we give back. You can't, maybe you can't give it back if you don't have it. But we've been given so much, and I, to be able to have a career as Dion globally, would be my gift.